Hello. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can make something like this. It's raining tacos from out of when you walk into the part, then it will start playing whatever song you want. All right. So the first thing you want to do is create a part, and then you want to scale that up so that the person can actually walk into it. Oh, not that way. Um, just like this. And that's really all you have to do, but to make it look nice, probably change that to like green maybe. Uh, change this to 0 0.8 so it looks like you can actually walk into it. Um, you need to, you, If you want to actually walk into it instead of just running into it, it'll still work by running into it, but it's just better if you turn can collide off. And then you also, you, this is what you need to do. You need to type anchor. That, that's, that's a necessity. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to add a script. Actually, we should probably call this like um, song player or something. I, it doesn't matter what you call that. Um, then you want to go here and attach a script. So you want to click the plus icon right there and then attach script. And so um, play song. It doesn't. You, this is this is another thing. You don't actually have to call it play song. You can just leave it as script, but that's fine. Okay. And then so what we want to do is we want to go down here. Actually, let me X out of all this. All right. So Roblox song ID. This is where you actually have to find the song that you want to play. If you already have a song ID, then you can just skip ahead. But let's just go down here into uh, Roblox music codes. I'll put the link into the description. And so let's just find a random song. Uh, let's just grab the Raining Tacos song. And we got to, we want to go back into our studio, and we want to add a song into this. So type in sound, and then rename this. Actually, you don't need to rename this. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go down here into sound ID, and paste your code, and press enter. And then, yep, it works. You can click that little green play button to actually see if it works. And then you want to type... Actually, let me blow this up so you guys can see it better. You want to type, and all the scripts will be in the description if you don't actually want to type it out. But if you want to learn, well, I'll teach you. So local song equals game dot workspace. So song, this is we're creating a variable. So song equals the game, which is this entire thing dot workspace. So it's in here. It's a child of the workspace. And then, actually. Let's move the sound into the song player, just so it's easier. So we want to do local song equals, um, you can do it many ways, but for this instance, we'll just do script dot parent, and then semicolon, find first child. There's an easier way to do this, I'm sure, but it's fine. And then we want to find song, and then we can press tab or enter to actually autofill that. And so what this this is basically this variable is equal to song sound and this has to be set up this way otherwise this will not work and then what we want to do is we actually have to make it play the song so what we need to do now is is type local um or actually we need to create a variable to find sound player so local sound player equals script dot parent just like that and then we want to do sound player dot touched. So when it's touched, it'll. We want to connect a function to it, and let's call this. Um, and then we need to define. We can just say hit, and then press enter. And then we have to actually do. What do we want? This is what this is doing. When when the sound player is touched. So when this thing is touched, it will connect. It'll play. It'll do whatever function we're telling it to do. And then, so what we want to do is we want to find if, so if um, hit dot parent, and hit is equal to whatever actually touches it. So this is technically touching it. The base plate is touching this part right here. So the song will play if anything touches it right now. So what we want to do is we want to check if actually a player hits it. So if hit dot parent find first child human or yeah humanoid and all players have this a humanoid part in them so this is how you check to see if it's a human or actually a player and then you then what we want to do is you want to type song play like that and that's really all you have to do once again the script is into in the description i want to click play up here 
just like that and when we walk into the part it's not playing the song as you can hear and as soon as we touch the part it's rain and tacos it starts playing the song really simple and so that's basically how you make a song or something play. I have a Discord server. If you have any other questions about anything, links in the description. Subscribe. Goodbye.